So, in functions we have discussed rational functions. So, what are the rational functions? So, rational functions means suppose f of x g of x or polynomial polynomial functions then f of x by g of x the functions of the form f of x by g of x where g of x does not equal to 0 is called a rational function. But how does it appear? This is appears to be a just like uh, if you take some numerical values for this two something 3 by 5. Generally what do we call 3 by 5? 3 by 5 is a fraction. So, now why cannot we say that f of x by g of x is also a fraction? Yes, we can say even f of x by g of x is also a fraction, but since it is a rational function, it had better to say rational fractions. So, today let us discuss on rational functions. Rational functions means here see this is nothing but a rational function or rational fraction, rational fraction. Can we give any examples for this rational fractions? So, do we have any examples? Yes, we have plenty of examples we shall give it. Suppose here examples for rational fractions x plus 3 by x plus 2 okay, or x square plus 3 by x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 or x plus 3 by x square plus x plus 1. So, like this so many examples we shall give it. So, in this and also one more example we shall give it like this 1 by x plus 2 or we can give one more example also x cube by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. So, like this we shall give plenty of examples. Let us examine all these examples. If you examine all these examples, here x plus 3 by x plus 2, already in lower classes, we have discussed the degree of the polynomial. How to find out the degree of the polynomial? What is the degree of the x plus 3? Degree of x plus 3 is 1. Degree of x plus 2 is 1. So, if you suppose this is numerator and denominator, both have the same degree. Let us come to the second one. Here degree is 2, here degree. How could you find out degree of this one? x into x into x, x cube. So, degree of numerator is less than degree of the denominator. So, now let us take this example. So, in this case also, degree is 1, here degree is 2. Degree of numerator is less than degree of denominator. In this case also same, this 1, how could you, how could you find out degree of 1 being a constant function? Yes, why not? This 1 can be written as x to the power of 0. So, degree is 0 here, whereas degree is 1. So, now in this case particularly degrees are same. So, that is why here the rational fractions also we can divide as per their degrees. So, what are the different types of rational functions? Let us have a small discussion. 
suppose now consider f of x by g of x a rational fraction suppose you say like this if degree of f of x less than degree of g of x suppose suppose degree of f of x greater than or equal to degree of g of x it may be possible two cases suppose degree of f of x is less than degree of g of x degree of f of x is greater than or equal to degree of g of x can you name them anything so yes so now this is called proper fraction similar to the in lower classes we have studied proper fraction proper fraction this is called improper fraction improper improper fraction improper fraction so consider two rational fractions 1 by x plus 2 and 1 by x plus 3 these rational fractions are nothing but proper fractions just we have studied can we add these two can we subtract these two let us see so if you add what do you get if you subtract what do we get let us see so now if we add these two what kind of fraction shall we get let us examine so 1 by x plus 2 is a proper fraction added with one more proper fraction 1 by x plus 3 now lcm is x plus 2 into x plus 3 here x plus 3 plus x plus 2 okay now x plus x and 3 plus 2 2x plus 5 by x square plus 5x plus 6 what kind of fraction see the degree of numerator is 1 degree of denominator 2 it's also a proper fraction sum of a two proper fraction is also a proper fraction so that means this converse is true that means this if the sum of these two equal to 2x plus 5 by x square plus 5x plus 6 can we say this 2x plus 5 by x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 1 by x plus 2 plus 1 by x plus 3 can we say that means indirectly this proper fraction can this proper fraction split further as a sum of two or more proper fractions yes for this one by observing this one our answer is s we can split a proper fraction into one or more proper fractions further so that means in this way splitting into the proper fractions is called partial fractions our chapter name that's partial fractions so today let us discuss already we have discussed about this one so let us note down the all the concepts and definitions whatever we are going to have in this chapter